It's Terry Dennery of the MathWorks. So let's hit this button, monitor and tune on the hardware page. Okay, so in this video, we're gonna kind of have some fun, all right? And so we're gonna do a little hardware um, prototype, maybe you'll call it, but it's pretty simple what we have. A DC motor whose voltage will be um, controlled, regulated by this little Arduino processor right here, okay? And so the Arduino processor is sitting on the Arduino motor shield, which is really cool because, I mean, it has access to the power electronics to control the voltage according to our Simulink model, right? And so what we're observing right now is essentially the conversion of the Simulink model into C code compiled and put onto that Arduino processor. All right, and so here's the model right here, and I think it's about to run. So I'm going to hold this up in front of you so you can see it when it goes. Kind of waiting for it. I think it takes about a minute for it to go through all this compilation. And we're going to go through probably like two or three iterations. Uh, here we go. And where I normally kind of do all this in one take, I'll probably edit out this part. Okay, still kind of waiting for it. Here we go. Okay, pretty simple what we did. I'm not sure if you're counting. Okay, and so what we commanded was a transition from zero to four times 360. So basically four revolutions. I think that adds up to 1440 degrees uh, that takes place in three seconds, All right? And so all that happened because of the model we have here. I'm going to kind of show the results, and you'll see we really did quite well. Um, the yellow is what we commanded, the blue is what we got. Okay, so now let's unpack this a little bit. Um, what we employed there was uh, blocks from the Simulink, and you see it right here in my Simulink browser, Simulink support package for Arduino hardware. We use these blocks from the um, the the motor carrier and basically with these blocks I can calculate a voltage send it in here and that's what will be delivered to that motor and that the motor has an encoder and for that reason I have a really good measurement of the angle okay now from a calculation point of view what we really did on the simulating side with regard to coming up with a controller well we basically applied pure feedback right and that's represented by this pid block and so you'll see we've configured the block so there are two threads of calculation uh, you know of what the voltage should be but you'll see that this, this feed forward piece we zeroed out right and so we'll get into what this is in a second but what i'd like to do now is you know go from where we did quite well to a little bit of a harder problem all right And so now I am going to do all this four times faster, 0 0.75 seconds. Okay, that looks pretty good. Let's go ahead and hit that monitor and tune button again. Okay, here we go. All right, you see that. Did you see it overshot? Kind of went too far and came back. Okay, and so here's our response this time, and clearly we're asking it something more difficult to do. We'll immediately see there's quite a bit of lag, at least compared to our previous example. <clears throat> and I think the thing I'll focus on the most, though, is this overshoot. Okay, and so the gold is what we're trying to do, and we see that we're supposed to finish at 1440 degrees, and you'll see that we're overshooting by almost 80 degrees. All right, so. We're going to include this feed forward piece in this time. And so I will no longer zero it out. I'll multiply it by a one. That's my kind of trick to doing this quickly. And let's hit the monitor and tune button one more time. So here we go. All right. And so that, well, let's look at it from the big picture first. So, first of all, I think it's clear. That lag has been significantly reduced, and then that overshoot as well. And so now, uh, where we were 100, or we were 80 degrees overshoot, now we're to 
you know, about 20 degrees. All right. So all that seems pretty good. All right. So this is a video um, that is intended to kind of launch a series of videos where we really work with this Arduino processor more from the point of view that it's a processor. Right. And then once you get a processor in the loop, you know, that you have the ability to put the mathematics in there that can really optimize performance. And hopefully we saw a little bit of that already with this simple example. Right. Now, as we get into kind of feed forward, we're going to see that, well, feed forward is about being informed about what the system is that you're controlling. And so the feed forward controller is absolutely informed on what the shaft inertia is, the damping coefficient. It's informed on things like, stall torque and no load speed and so forth, all right? And as we go through this series, we're going to kind of see how do we come up with reasonable good values so that we have a good model of the system that can estimate for us the best values of voltage, all right? And so as we get into this, I think we will uncover a few really important ideas. And, um, um, and anyways, I think it's going to be a lot of fun. I think these videos are going to be good. All right, thank you.